for task 14.2, number two. Yes, number two. Okay. Um, it tells us that a company's employees are rated for their customer service on a scale of one to 10, one unhappy, 10 being very happy with the service. The customer service ratings for one day are shown in the plot. Use the dot plot to describe the data. So before we do anything, we need to understand what does a dot represent? And then what are the numbers at the bottom representing? So a dot is a person that gave a rating. So a dot is a person that rated and the number stands for the rating. So if it's asking like how many people did this, this is, we need to look at the dots. If it's asking about the ratings, we need to be looking at the numbers. So it's important to understand that difference there. So first it says, what is the most common rating for the day? So we're looking at a number. So the rating that's most common, which one happens the most, right? We wanna go most goes up. So that is a seven, my answer, right? The rating is a seven. And I know that because it is the highest. The seven goes the highest. Hey, what is the least common rating? So we're looking at the numbers. So which one has the lowest? So go ahead and tell me which one is lowest. Make sure you put the answer there, the number that has the lowest. So now I ask how many observations, and right? An observation is the dot. So how many dots do we have on the dot plot? So count up the dots, put that there. Hey, D says, if a rating of six or higher is considered acceptable by the company, what percent of ratings are unacceptable? So we know how many total ratings are there. So we just found that out. There are 40 total ratings. So there are 40 people that gave a rating. And how many are below six, right? We want the unacceptable. So this is acceptable, so this is unacceptable. So there are, there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 are unacceptable. So we're going to write that as a fraction. So 12 out of 40 are unacceptable. And now we need to change that into a percent. So if we're doing that problem, so we have 12 out of 40, I want to know what percent, oh, didn't mean to write that, what, oh, I took my whole thing away. 12 out of 40. And we want to know what percent, percents are always out of 100. So what percent is 12 out of 40? So we're going to do 12 times 100 and then divide that by 40. And that will give us that percent right there. So we found how many out of the total so that total can be important to know for a lot of reasons. And then we can find the percent from there. Okay, so if a rating of eight is considered, eight, greater than eight is considered excellent, what percent are excellent? So again, how many total were there? We already know that there were 40 total. So now we wanna count the ones that are greater than eight. So it doesn't say eight, it, just, it, literally, it seriously has to be greater than eight, it's not eight or higher, greater than eight. So these ones here are excellent. So how many are there? There are nine excellent ratings. So nine out of 40 are excellent. So now we're going to do that as a fraction. So nine out of 40, I keep scrolling up to go look at it and I have it right here. That's why I literally put them there, you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm losing my mind. Okay, so we wanna know the percent. Percents are always out of 100. So we're going to do nine times 100, divide that by 40 and we'll get that percent of excellent ratings. Okay, so now we have five additional customers at the end of the day we're going to add on to this and each gave a rating of 10. Oh my goodness. So they got 10, five new 10. So one, two, three, four, five. Will this change our answers? So our answer for A was which was most common. 
So our answer for A, whoa, I do not want to write like that. So our answer for A, now, which one's the most common, it would change to 10. Now, did that change B as the least common? That did not change the least common. So no change there, still the same. Now C wanted to know how many observations are there? Well, now how many observations are there? We had 40 before, we just got more. Now we have 45. So would this change the percent of unacceptable rating? So less than, well, it actually would. So even though it didn't change the ones that were less than six, now the percent would be, what was this one? 12 out of 45. So it would actually, I won't make you solve it, but it would actually lower the percent. So now, because right now we have more of these, it's less room is taken up over here. So 12 out of 45 is less than 12 out of 40. So that's a lower percentage. And now this one, it was excellent, was here. Before we only had nine excellent ratings. Now we have, right, there's nine, 10, so there's 10, 14. I don't know why that was so hard. Now we have 14 out of 45, where before we only had nine. So this percentage of excellent ratings would actually go up because we just got a bunch more excellent ratings. So if you change the data, look, a lot of that was affected by adding in new data points. The only one that didn't change was the lowest one, which was right there. Everything else was changed by adding in new data points. Okay, so make sure you have filled in your answers. And if you come and tell me the secret word rabbit, you get one extra point for listening. So good job.